three subjects that you should avoid talking about in France if you would like to avoid having a confrontation. Every single country, there are certain subjects that foreigners might not be aware are highly upsetting to a certain percentage of the population. For example, if you're an American, you know that if you are just meeting somebody for the first time, you don't know them really well yet, you aren't just gonna pipe up with, oh, guns should just be illegal anyways, because you're not gonna say that unless you have the mental energy to get into an argument, right? And there are a ton of subjects like that that are like hot topic subjects within America. The same things ha same thing happens when Americans move abroad to France, for example. So <laughs> three things that I learned, unfortunately, the hard way, uh, you just don't bring up unless you are ready to pick a fight. Number one would definitely be this belief that um, you can just get sick, all different types of sickness from being exposed to cold air or being exposed to a breeze of cold air. When I lived in France, uh, I tried to understand it, but every single person I talked to had a different definition of exactly how it made you sick or in what ways it could or could not make you sick. Like they all had different working theories of how this works. But uh, like, for example, if I were sitting in front of an air conditioner because it was hot out, people were like, oh my God, you're going to be ill. Get away from the air conditioning. How can you have it close to your face like that? And I'm just like, I don't know. I just I, I, I'm hot. I'm going to throw up from the heat exposure. I, I just want to cool off. Like, but it was it was a whole thing. It was a whole thing, and I wasn't aware in the beginning. Saying like, oh, we don't believe in that in America would start a a huge fight. I didn't I didn't know that that was a possibility. And every time I would just be, like, oh, oh, you know what? You're probably right. Like I would just totally let it go because I was like, this is one. I'm not not willing to be confrontational on, with a few exceptions. Two, there was this TikTok that was going around. There was a few of them on English speaking TikTok where they were putting a small piece of tin foil in the dishwasher to see if it really made your dishes actually cleaner at the end. There is a chemical reaction between the soap and the aluminum, and it kind of like attracts all of the tarnish from your silverware to the aluminum. It's kind of cool, and I thought it was fun to share. Oh my gosh, there is a very strong percentage of the French population that is terrified of aluminum. They are convinced it's going to cause cancer. And to be fair, when you Google this in English, everyone's like, all the sources, like the first like three pages are all saying aluminum is fine. And then if you do the same thing in French, the first like three pages are all explaining all the different ways that aluminum exposure is going to kill you. So, and the third thing is you should never use the term submissive to describe somebody. It is not a neutral term. It can never be used as a positive term. It is a huge, huge insult. And I will do a whole video explaining why you should never ever call a human being submissive in French. It's the dictionary definition is the same in both countries, but don't say it. 